Welcome everyone. I am Suzanne Brown, Director of Community and Government Affairs for the Scottsdale Area Association of Realtors. Thank you so much for joining us. I would like to start by introducing our Scottsdale team who is here with us today. First off, Cindy Reddy, our 2020 President. Lewis McCall, our 2020 President-Elect. Polly Mitchell, our 2020 Global Council Co-Chair and Holly Blackwell, our 2020 Global Council Co-Chair. Additionally, we have Laura Kovacs, Assistant Executive Officer and Director of Education, and also my counterpart as Staff Liaison for our Global Council. Also present today, we have several of our Global Council members who have been a dedicated part of our Global MOU initiatives, including one of our members who was instrumental in making this MOU possible, Trisha Lehane. She is a past chair of our Global Council and currently serves as the only U.S. Realtor member on the Canadian Real Estate Association Global Committee. Rebecca Grossman, our CEO, unfortunately cannot be with us today as she was representing SAR at a very important City of Scottsdale economic recovery event, but she wanted to share her heartfelt thank you to all those involved in making this partnership a reality. Now, I'd like to turn it over and welcome Sharon von Schoenberg. Sharon, why don't you take a moment to introduce the CREA representatives with us today? Thanks, Suzanne, I'd love to. So first I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Sharon von Schoenberg. I'm project manager for global services at the Canadian Real Estate Association. And I'm very pleased and happy to introduce the following key uh, participants in this MOU signing and in all the global initiatives. So first we've got Michael Borg. He's our CEO at CREA. We have Costa Palapolis. He's our chair of the Canadian Real Estate Association, or CREA as we call it. Pauline Anger, who's our current chair of Global Committee. And Marc LaFrance, whom I love reporting to, is my direct report. He's director of member experience here at the Canadian Real Estate Association. So Suzanne, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Sharon. Once again, welcome to all. I'm so glad that technology has allowed us to come together in these unprecedented times. And I would like to start by opening the floor to our respective leadership and invite Michael to say a few words. Thank you, Suzanne. Uh, look, even though I live in Eastern Canada, I've been to Arizona many times. So uh, if you'll indulge me during these COVID times, I just wanna reminisce for a moment. Uh, I'm a golfer and I can't wait to get back to True North or to TPC Scottsdale and stay at the Fairmont or the Phoenician and play their course again. Uh, I'm a car lover. I can't wait to get back to Barrett Jackson. Maybe this time I'll come home with a car. I could go on, uh, but <laughs> let's just say that uh, I understand the value of international collaborations and this uh, MOU which represents our partnership uh, will help realtors in Canada and Arizona who are interested in growing their cross-border referrals. As a national association, uh, we look to assist all realtors in Canada to learn about, grow their cross-border business. And according to the National Association of Realtors latest international activity survey of the $9.5 billion, that's a billion with a B, spent by Canadians south of the border, 14% was in Arizona, or about 1.3 billion. And I know many of those are my friends. <laughs> and our own research mirrored this finding with members reporting that in 2019, uh, just over 12% of their clients bought in Arizona. So working together ensures our members remain part of these international transactions and uh, that uh, the business can continue. So, you know, the more I think of it, in, uh, forget the car, maybe next time I'll come back with a house. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Uh, Cindy, maybe you'd like to add a few words. Thanks, Michael. And as we reminisce about connections, it's fun for me because I married into the Canadian family. So my husband's from Ottawa and his family uh, presides all over Canada from Vancouver all the way to Toronto. So I've had a lot of opportunity to spend time up there with family and of course then doing business both with buyers and sellers from Canada. So it's such an honor 
And just for fun today, I'm wearing my Canadian real estate pin. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I received that several years ago on a speaking engagement up there, and I'm just honored to wear that in, uh, in today. So the Canadian Real Estate Association and the Arizona so the Scottsdale Area Association of Realtors are coming together to acknowledge the current collaboration and value of international partnerships to strengthen our members' relationships. Our global members truly recognize the significance of this partnership. Our research shows that not only Canadians are one of the top two sources of global spending and investing, just as Michael just said in Arizona, they're also number one for internationally owned businesses for the greater Phoenix metro area with 215 companies in 913 local employees um, and 18,500 18, workers. According to Canadian Glenn Williams, CEO and founder of the Canadian Arizona Business Council, um, which has pursued promoting cross borders business to business investment for quite some time. Foreign capital investment is critical to Arizona capital formation and global business retention, attraction, and expansion. What attracts foreign direct investment to Arizona is opportunity, the fact that companies and real estate here are available for purchase and the economy is growing. By putting in place a memorandum of understanding, we look to exchange information, promote professionalism, provide broader education, and opportunities to our respective members and continue to strengthen our international collaboration. Suzanne? Thank you, Cindy. Now, if I can take a moment, I would like to turn the focus back to our SAR president and Kriya's chair, who will be signing the MOU here today. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Well, I want to say as well, thank you, Suzanne. Uh, it's my pleasure to be part of uh, today's event. Uh, and I can say that over the last year, we've been a part of many cross-border presentations uh, illustrating the strength uh, of global real estate. And uh, these types of partnerships for the Canadian Real Estate Association are important and it, make it, e it makes it easier for realtors to connect our markets, connect with one another, make referrals, and work together with our cross-border transactions. We know that real estate is local, and in today's world, real estate is definitely global. So thank you for that. Cindy, back over to you. So like Costas, I look forward to working closely with my realtor colleagues north of the border and to our Scottsdale and area members growing their network and becoming knowledgeable on Canada and your real estate market. Thank you everyone for being available today and to our president and your chair for signing the MOU. And for our CEOs supporting global efforts in our associations, the pandemic perhaps kept us from coming together in person for this, but we do look forward to when our members can meet in person at future real estate events. I would like now to have our global council chairs, Holly Mitchell and Kriya's global committee chair, Pauline Unger, say a few words about our upcoming global events and the kickoff to our first event post MOU. We are excited about this MOU and the momentum it will create between SAR and Canada in building around our global efforts. We are excited to share this MOU with an international audience virtually. As part of our collaboration and partnership, we are also excited to be working with the Canadian Association and happy that CREA Global is able to be part of our upcoming inbound trade mission, yay, uh, the Going Global Experience. This free five-day virtual event is taking place October 26th through the 30th. And for those members who are pursuing their CIPS designation, we are also offering a CIPS class on the Americas and international real estate to be held virtually October 27th and 28th, which I think is an awesome thing. And thanks to Korea Global being a premier marketing partner for our trade mission and CIPS class, special discount pricing is available for all CREA Global members. So 
right on. All right, Pauline. Thanks, Polly. And thank you, Scottsdale Area Association of Realtors, for all your efforts on bringing global opportunities to the forefront for your members. As chair of CREA's global committee, I look forward to growing our members' knowledge and networks around cross-border business. We're also looking forward to not only supporting, but being part of your trade mission later this month. It's a great opportunity to educate our members on why so many Canadians are making Scottsdale the location for their international property. Thank you, Polly and Pauline. Now a few quick words from Mark and Sharon. Mark? Thanks very much. This is another exciting partnership for CREA. Uh, Suzanne and Sharon, I wanna thank you for bringing our organizations closer and to supporting Realtors Global Business. Thanks very much. And I'll just echo really what's been said uh, during this whole signing. Um, I really look forward to working with Suzanne. I know as staff will be working closely over the next year, the first event being the trade mission and then future webinars and hopefully in person. Um, I think all of these MOUs help to symbolize um, the importance of relationships and collaborations among associations and in turn bringing our members close and keeping both of our members part of that international transaction. So I look forward to being in Scottsdale at the end of this month, although virtually. Um, and I hope uh, when uh, this pandemic is uh, settled and gone to being there in person. So again, thanks uh, Suzanne and everyone else involved today. Thank you, Sharon. Again, thank you to all for taking the time to be here. And I too look forward to the next steps and to having Korea Global participate in our upcoming virtual trade mission later this month. Thank you.